Okay, so I'm well aware of the name of this song that is very popular in the bass community, but believe it or not, I've never listened to it or I've never tried to learn it. But we're going to change that today. We're going to be talking about the song Run For Cover, a track by David Sanborn, but Marcus Miller just destroyed the bass track, so it just made it like a bass song. So we're going to talk about that track now, go over that main riff. Let's go. You also heard this riff in the very beginning with a little bit of embellishment. <laughs> But we're going to try to tackle this. I'm going to give you a secret to tackling these difficult sounding slap riffs because nine times out of ten, there's not a lot of notes involved. It's just the rhythm and the technique. So we're going to break this down into four different sections. We're going to have a bonus section at the end or a little extra section, but four different sections and categories that you can break this slap riff up and it'll become super easy. So in the beginning, you have... We're gonna count that as one. That's the first grouping of notes. The next one, that's two. The third one, that's three. The fourth one, where was I? Oh, here we go. That's four. And keep in mind, sometimes not even using the slap technique in the beginning at first will actually help you learn the line faster so you can hear the notes that are coming out or that are being played. So you may want to pick this out before you attempt to slap this because the technique is a little bit more difficult or a little bit more tougher than actually just picking these notes out. So hearing those main notes, the key is in E first and foremost. So you have D sharp, D, D, E. Slap E twice, the lower octave. That's our first section. Super simple. Now, I'm not sure exactly how Marcus played this, but you can interpret it, you know, however you would like, as long as you get the sound and the technique down. So what I would like to do for this next part, you're hitting G twice. I pop that and then slap that with my thumb for those two notes. All right, and then use my thumb for the rest. D, E, octave. All right, so now once you get comfortable with it, I would do section by section and then go back and do section one and two together and then section three and four together, okay? Then eventually you'll just be able to put one, two, three, and four together. So I'll show you. Boom, that's section one and two. So we're halfway there. So for the next part, there's this little triplet slap thing. Digga do cat, digga do cat, triplet da. There's this little thing that happens and it's like, what in the world was that? There were no notes coming out. So those are all ghost notes. The triplet, ba ba boom, pa, do 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 cat. And then the last note is actually a fretted note, which is the note D on the G string. So the way to get that triplet, I'll do pop, pop, slap, da da pop, da da da. But no notes at all, just hovering over the fretboard. This pop, pop, boom, but just quicker. So you have pop, pop, slap on the G string and then the A string. Pop, pop, slap. And just do a little bit quicker. Ba -da -da, ba -da -da, ba -da -da. So now that we got that technique down, we just put it all together, hover over the strings for the ghost notes, and then we're gonna hit that D. Boom. That's the third part. All right, we almost, we're coming home. So last part. So what I like to do, how I like how I like to play that is playing the B, the C sharp, and the open G. So we got first finger, second fret, third finger, fourth fret on the A string, and then popping that G string, the open G string, and then we're gonna hit the G on the E string and kind of bend that a little bit, right? You can use a little vibrato on that G in order to come back in with the bass line. And that's pretty much it. That's all four sections. And so I'm gonna show you another section afterwards. If you hear it, if you listen to the song, suggest that you actually go listen to it. Awesome song. So like a melody in there. Yeah, so 
awesome song. So all four sections together, or let's go back to the beginning. Let's time this out a little bit better too. One, two, three, four, one. <laughs> So I just want to make sure I went over that last section correctly. So we have B to C sharp to the open G and then the fret G on the third fret E string. And then we're going to play D E to bring it back around, to bring it back home. So, all right, then our last note is going to be our open E. And then keep in mind also, this phrase starts on the E of one. One, two, three, four. One, E and a two, E and a three, E and a four, E and a one, E and You get it? So it starts on that E of one. It doesn't really start right down on the one beat or on the down, on the one beat, on the down beat, but it starts on the E. So a little bit after that one first down beat, you kind of have to feel it. One, three, four, one. This whole entire bass line is a feeling. It's a groove. It's a feel. You saw in the beginning. fun with it so you may see in the you know inside of that groove I'm playing a couple more notes so I'm playing a little bit more uh, you know syncopated rhythm uh, or syncopated rhythm uh, with some 16th notes you know things like that uh, trying to keep that movement going I'm just adding in those extra notes just to make it sound like there's a lot going on, but there's really not. So you kind of just keep in time like a drummer, very, very percussive. And I, I talked about keeping time or, or thinking like a drummer when you're slapping and thinking about different rhythms that you can do. If you haven't seen that lesson, suggest that you go check that out. Hopefully this helped. Hopefully I broke this down well enough. Oh, almost forgot the bonus section. Okay, so at the end of the fourth phrase, he does that four times, the whole phrase four times. At the end of that, So he's coming down a scale as if he's playing a G major scale. So playing those first four notes, one, two, three, four. Okay, so just playing, doubling them up at the same time. Technique wise, I'm not sure exactly how he's playing it. I have to go back and look and see how he's playing it, but I'm hearing what it sounds like. So pluck, pluck, pull off, pluck, pull off, pluck pull off or shift or slide depending on what fingering you play this with you get the idea so make sure your notes are coming out clean clear and precise if you want to know more about learning about these bass lines or learning how to slap or even just getting the technique down right, I strongly suggest that you visit the Bass Nation Academy. Link is gonna be in the description if you haven't subscribed on top of that to this YouTube channel where there's a ton of information. What's wrong with you? Why haven't you subscribed yet? Hit that red subscribe button. We upload a video every single week. So you, yeah, hit that notification bell so you can get notified uh, because we're, we're on every week, every Saturday. Anyway, notes coming out clean, clear, and precise. Thank you guys in the next one. Peace.